Good evening, Super Eagles. Good evening, Patriotic Nigerians. My name is Alan Onyema. I'm the Chairman CEO of uh, Air Peace Airlines. We are very happy to be associated with you. You could see that the luck, the favor God has granted Air Peace has been following you. It has started following you already. You won your first match resoundingly. And we expect that the one happening in Cape Verde in 24 hours' time will, will not be different. Uh, gentlemen, why I decided to come to the airport at this time of the day, 2 a.m., to address you is because of this. You are not just going to play a football match. You are going to carry on your young shoulders the aspirations and the hope of a nation almost in distress. Football is a unifying factor. That is why we decided to key in to associate with you at this period in time because we want to restore hope to our nation. Like I said and I repeat, you're not just going for a football match. You're carrying the aspirations and the hope of a nation on your young shoulders. You are going out there to play to unify your nation, Nigeria. You must help us in restoring hope to this country. This is a great country with so much potentials to achieve. We are yet to get there, but together we cannot get it you know, solved. Yes, we may have our differences, but we love ourselves. No doubt about that. I almost shed tears on Friday when Ahmed Musa was called in during the second half. Majority of the spectators at the stadium in Lagos were made up of Southern Nigerians. But when the name Ahmed Musa came up, he's from Kano State, the country, the stadium roared up for joy. People were hailing, people stood up for him. What does that tell you? Nigerians will love ourselves. Just some few differences we think we will come across and solve together. We have no other place other than this nation. Yes, there may be injustices all over the place, but these things could be addressed. They could be solved, addressed in love and with love. So you are going out there knowing fully well that the entire nation is looking up to you, not because they want you to win the match alone, but because a lot of people expect that this is the beginning of the peace and the unity and oneness we want in our nation, Nigeria. We don't have any other nation. A lot of the international community is actually envious of this country. Please go out there and shine for your nation. When you were playing on, fri on Friday last week, everybody jettisoned his ethnicity for Nigeria. The people in the southeast were clapping. The people in the north were clapping. South South, they were clapping. They were expecting that you should win for the nation. Nobody remembered his ethnicity. Nobody remembered that he was Fulani, Aosa, Igbo, Yoruba, Birom, or whatever. It was all Nigeria. So you're going out there, not just to win match, but to win souls, to encourage the nation to be together. We need unity more than ever now. And because of this, if you win this match, if you win this match, I'm sure they are made up of 20 players or so, or 18 players. If you win this match, I'm going to give you 20 million naira on arrival. Uh, as you're coming, if you win the match, I'll bring the money cash. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I hand it over. But the moment you land, you get that 20 million naira waiting for you. It's not just qualifying this country for the World Cup in Qatar, but I see this as a stepping stone to unifying our nation. I want that nationalistic zeal to burn in all of you. Thank you and God bless you. Have a safe flight.